Prague. And we love pubs. Uh, in Prague. Yes, we do love Prague, Tim. And we're near Ventislas Square. Just off the Square. Well, get to the point. Well, Tim, Stop talking so much. Tim, in, in an age where you can just uh, stream any song you want and at the push of a button, uh, where you can get an online gaming experience uh, with ultra realistic. Uh, uh, graphics with people all around the world, right? Exactly, with people all around the world. It's good every now and again to go a bit retro, I think. So, tell me more. So, uh, today we've gone to a bar which uh, gives, does uh, provides retro games, and it's called the Joystick Bar. Joystick Bar, Tin, and exactly right. Um, uh, on first uh, blush, Tin, and as I walked in, I thought, uh, not too bad. Not did, you go, did you have a go on there? Oh, yeah, we had a quick, we had a quick game. One of the arcades, did, as yeah. I would say. Not, not exactly the, the game, some sort of... I mean, I don't, I don't mind retro stuff. I mean, mm. I've got my stovepipe hat today and my knickerbocker pants, but um, I'm not into the retro games, but I can see why a lot of people might be. I think it's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, it was reasonably occupied when we came here. Yes. Yeah. Half past four. Uh, people are, yeah, yeah, exactly. And so what is it now at about 6.30? It's, it's reasonably full. They're all people um, probably under 30. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I mean, for yeah, them, right. uh, they didn't grow up with this stuff, so... Yeah, there must be there must something be an appeal. Exactly. Yeah. Whereas I suppose growing up with it, I think we've sort of oh, a bit over it. Um, especially with the stuff that's around nowadays. But I can see why people are interested. I mean, people like buying LPs whatever, nowadays, don't they? It's a great yeah. thing. We should never forget the past, Tim. Never forget the past. Appreciate the history. Uh, always, because that's where we come from. We come. We are our history. Now, Tim and damn it, let's do Tim and tells. Uh, let's go with price, man. Price. Um, so we had three beers to choose from. Uh, Pilsner quells a little prices, like around as always, six, as six as always. five. I mean, we are very central. Uh, they have the two uh, Unitichke 10 and 12. They yeah. are a little more reasonable. A delightful beer to you. You're fine, I know that. I like them, yeah, not bad. 48 and 38 for the uh, 0.3. And then it would cost a little bit more for the 0.5. Do you remember? Or yeah, I, it was 58 crowns for a 12. And 48, 48 for the and 10, 48 yeah. for the large that's, one for that's the, right, for yeah, the that's 10. It. Exactly. And, and for those who don't know, in the Czech Republic, they, they do it by degrees. Basically, the higher the degree, the more um, stronger, right? the stronger the alcohol. It's, it's got more ingredients in it, basically. It makes it stronger. Um, yeah, so uh, it's okay prices, though, town, isn't it? Because we are near Venceslav Square. It's not exactly old town, but we're not far from the tourist district. I don't think it's that bad a price. But I don't know. What do you say? Yeah, I was going to, I was going to give it two out of five but again because of the proximity to the central add another half so two and a half two and a half you're harsh man a difficult man I don't know I would have given it a three myself but it's not my it's not John Tells it doesn't roll off the tongue very well uh, ambience team ambience again as mentioned it was, it was pretty good we, we came here fairly early and there were a lot of people um, filling up now as it's about six now yeah and I'd say uh, Later on, there, there might be even a queue to get it. To... But you're speculating, aren't you? I'm speculating, yeah. yeah. But certainly, it, it definitely has in the last half hour, it's really filled up. Yeah, yeah and um, yeah, there's a, a lot of seating. Um, um, yes, it's, there's no music as such, but yeah, it's. Um, the atmosphere's pretty, pretty good. You know? right. if you feel, I think you, you always feel. It's it's a little bit nightclubby for me. Um, Pretty friendly. It's think, friendly, yeah. yeah. It's friendly for sure. The people were friendly, but mm. it's a, it's the, the 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 way it looks, the way it's set up, the lighting and all that. It's a bit uh, nightclubby, in a way, slightly. Uh, but anyway, what do you score it? Uh, so for the ambiance, I'll give it a three out of five. Sounds fair enough. Um, and the last one, Tina, is service. Uh, bar service. Wasn't yeah, first thing I have to mention, as you say, is bar service. So no one comes to your table. But that having been said, he was very helpful to us with anything we asked. Uh, there is no food available other than snacks. So that should be mentioned. And it's, of course, cash only. Yes, um, that is a But yeah, coming back to the service. Yeah, everything fine. No. Well, you didn't have to wait, did you? He was no. on the ball. Uh, he was very, fine, very, very healthy. Good English. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'll give it three, three, out of, three out of five. But damn it, Tienan, that one bugbear of the cash owner. 
That drives me insane. It's 2023, for goodness sake. Oh, on that note, Tim, uh, subscriptions are still free. Still free, I believe. I don't know. I don't, how do you do it? <laughs> Shocking, huh? Uh, but, you know, uh, perhaps give us a nudge just for a laugh. That, that, would, be, that would be great. Oh, God. Um, I'm freezing my proverbials off.